I was in the middle of driving to GameStop when I saw a Goodwill, so I decided why not go in and see if they have any video games. I doubt it, but uh, you know, it never hurts to check. Okay, so they had exactly one video game in there, which was a PC CD-ROM copy of I Spy School Days. Not something I'm looking for. I did, however, pick up a CD. Uh, this is Satellite Heart, Transmissions from the Satellite Heart by The Flaming Lips, which I, I do quite like The Flaming Lips, so cool to find that. But uh, yeah, no video games. Let's go over to GameStop. Okay, so I just left GameStop right there, um, and I found two games that I needed. Um, I mean, there was a few games I needed, um, like that Monster Jam game I need, and uh, one of those MLB games I needed, but it's like two games that like I don't see very often, so I wanted to grab. First one, Chronicles of Riddick, uh, Assault on Dark Athena. Never seen this game before, and now I own it. Uh, it's 15, it's GameStop exclusive bonus map included. I don't know if that's like an in-game thing or whatever, it didn't come with a map. Um, yeah, it's complete manual disc, this looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I got that. Never heard of this game before, but uh, I own it now, so that's game 451. And then this one I wasn't going to get, but this is Ben 10. Alien Force Vilgax Attacks. Uh, it was 10 bucks. It's missing the manual, so I wasn't gonna get it, because it's like, I really don't wanna go through the trouble of finding a replacement manual. If it's a game like, you know, some AAA thing that like everybody has, like uh, my GTA 4 didn't have a manual. I found one for like a dollar on fucking eBay. If it's something like that, yeah, that's fine. But this game is like, like these like licensed games, nobody, is, ha is gonna sell the replacement manual, so I'm gonna have to like find like another manual or whatever, or like another GameStop that has one, and then just like return the one that doesn't have the manual. It's not like they charge any difference for CIB versus, I've done that like once or twice. They don't charge a difference between CIB and disc only or whatever. Um, and I wasn't gonna get this game because it doesn't have the manual, and I knew it was gonna be a pain in the ass to find, but it was $10. And it goes for like 35 online. So I was like, you really can't beat that, especially since the disc is like pretty good condition. It just needs like a a lens wipe to clean the smudges off. But yeah, um, I've never seen this game in person. I know I knew it existed, because I know there's like there's like five or six Ben 10 games for some reason. I don't know why. I have one of them. I have Ben 10 Omniverse 2. Um and that's it, but yeah, now I have this one, and uh, like I said, it's like a $35 game, it's 10 bucks. Same with this one, this is like a $35 game, uh, it's 15 so that I was fine with paying, you know, for uh, CIB. I prefer it not be the GameStop exclusive edition, but like, it's not on the spine or anything, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this one was like, just like a, 
I saw it, I was like, oh shit, another Ben 10 game, because I literally just got Omniverse 2, like, a few days ago, at a game convention that they had, at my local mall. I had never seen this one in person, I had never seen that one in person until I got it, um, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, now I have it, so. Nice little two pickups, they're up to 350, 352, 452 games in the set now, out of the 1,235. So yeah, uh, we'll go find more games another day. Thanks for watching.